Well, howdy. Here is uh, an interesting project. You don't see one JBL uh, 124As much. It's also uh, pretty much the same driver as a 2203. Uh, this customer uh, custom builds JBL uh, reproduction speakers, and uh, this is the second set I've done for them. The others were 2230s. Uh, with a white aquaplaz cones. So he's doing a uh, 4315 and which has a oh, 4315 actually has a 2203 in it but uh, the 124A is basically the same driver so he had me make some uh, white aquaplaz recon kits for him and these are going to be basically a uh, 12 inch version of my 2230 hybrid. Uh, so it's just kind of an interesting project to do in a kind of a bespoke one off and uh, should turn out well. Fingers crossed. I hope. Got a pair of them. All right, here's the finished uh, pair of 124A bespoke with aqua Let me turn this over. There it is. I'm calling this a 2203 plus. Uh, they're quite well matched with the uh, blue printed moving mass. These were also, the request also, uh, the people building these systems overseas also uh, requests the polarity of the magnets be changed. So he put positive to red and it jumps forward. And there's positive. See if I can see it down here. Positive to red. Forward cone movement. Now the the guy that builds these systems claims he can hear a difference. I I'm not going to argue with him, that, but that's how he wanted it done. So uh, these turned out really good. You can see the aqua claws and. Uh, the move, the freer resonance is just about around 20 hertz. There's the minimum current draw. Both of them uh, are at the same free air resonance, so it's around 20 hertz. It's you know we've done this before. It's not uh, a particularly spot-on accurate way to do it, but it's pretty darn close in the neighborhood. So these are going to be for some uh, special 4315s, and maybe you'll see them for sale somewhere. And if you do, it'll have my markings on it. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that uh, good stuff. I appreciate it. Thanks very much.